These are real headlines from North Carolina and across the country, and the Commission wants to make sure you are aware of potential dangers. Viewing vacant properties, going on listing appointments, hosting open houses. If you're a real estate broker, you may perform these tasks routinely and they could put you at risk. This video is to give you some common sense ideas on staying safe. Some of them you may have heard before, but others might be new to you. Research indicates that there are simple things you can do to help prevent an attack. Don't be a statistic. Use the following tips and make personal safety your first priority. Be suspicious. Know who you're dealing with when meeting people for the first time. Insist that a new customer meet you at your office and complete a customer information form. Get a copy of the driver's license and a description of the customer's car and license number. When showing property, tell your coworkers where you're going, with whom, and when you'll return. Have someone call you at a predetermined time and check on you. Avoid showing property after dark. Have a fully charged cell phone and have it readily available, not in your purse or briefcase. Have 911 and other emergency numbers on speed dial. Consider downloading a safety app for your smartphone. There are some specifically designed for real estate agents. Set up a distress code with your office. Anytime you feel uneasy, call using your special code word or phrase so your office will know to send help. Implement a buddy system. Predators thrive on isolation. So whenever possible, team up with another broker. Working in pairs will lessen the chance of an attack. Practice vehicle safety. Make sure your car is in good working order. Keep your keys readily available and have remote door locks. If possible, especially with new prospects you don't know, drive separately. Have the prospect follow you. If you must ride together, you drive. When parking, take stock of your surroundings and avoid areas where you could be blocked in. Dress for safety and success. Dress professionally and don't wear expensive jewelry as it may make you a target. Wear shoes that won't hinder your ability to run, kick, or fight back if necessary. Walk behind. Let the prospective buyers lead the way when you're showing property. Also be aware of possible escape routes and be wary of basements and attics. Conduct safe personal marketing and be careful how you use social media. Keep your photos strictly professional and limit the amount of personal information you share. Plan for a safe open house. Prior to the event, meet the neighbors. On the day of the open house, take a partner and a cell phone and check in with the office routinely. Consider in advance any points in the house where you could be vulnerable and establish escape plans from those areas. Don't advertise a listing as vacant. Trust your instincts. If you have the sense that something isn't quite right, Trust your gut, it's trying to tell you something. Know your options and how you'll respond to save your life. No resistance may be the best choice in some situations. If a would-be robber confronts you with a lethal weapon, give up your property. However, if you're in a situation in which you must defend yourself, go for the eyes, throat, groin, and instep. Scream, bite, and fight back with whatever is available. All of these tips and more are available in the North Carolina Real Estate Safety Guide, which was created in association with the North Carolina Association of Realtors. To view or order the brochure, visit our website at ncrec.gov. For more safety resources, visit ncrealtors.org and realtor.org.